All right, here we have the three triangle similarity theorems. Um, so double A similarity theorem, and then side, side, side similarity theorem, and S, or side, angle, side similarity theorem. So my question is, what do these look like? The nice thing is, is that the first two are pretty simple, okay? So if I have two triangles, any two triangles, and I show that two corresponding so angles are congruent, then bam, I know that I've got angle, angle, that's a, a, a similarity. Um, so I know that these two triangles are similar, okay? Um, that's all I have to show is just those two angles on any two triangles. And I could, it could be a right angle. So I could have two right angles. Ooh, those don't look similar, but I'm not doing a good drawing. Um, but again, it's a right angle and then um, another angle that is corresponding and congruent. Side, 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 super straightforward. Um, we've got two angles, and or two triangles, and we have, I don't know, let's say this side is two, this is four, this is three, and we have a scale factor of two. Um, so then the corresponding side to two would be four, corresponding side of four uh, would be eight, and then corresponding to three would be six. So that's a scale factor um, from the little one to the big one is actually one to two, okay? Um, so I multiplied this one here by two to get this second one. So if you can find a consistent scale factor from all three sides, then I know that those two, those two triangles are similar. Key thing here is all of the sides have to be um, corresponding, okay? They have to all be proportional. So it's not enough just to have, like, say in the same situation, we have two, four, three, and two of the sides have a good scale factor of two, like four and eight, and then all of a sudden we just throw in a random seven. Well, that doesn't um, have the same scale factor as these two sides do, so it's not SSS, so we can't use it and say that these are similar. So it's only when they have the same scale factor. Now, let's look at SAS. This is the one that tends to um, trip us up a little bit. Now, the biggest thing is that in SAS, we say that that A is right in between the two sides. So it's not enough just to have two triangles with two sides that are um, that have a good scale factor like two four and then three six um, and then just throw in an angle anywhere no 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 I can't just I can't just throw in like an angle here and say it's okay uh, because then that would be um, a s s and that would be our bad word and so that um, we wouldn't be able to do that one. So let's just get rid of that really quick. Um, so instead, we have to make sure that that angle um, is right in between the two sides. This is the biggest thing, right in between, okay? So that works. I have a scale factor of two of the sides um, going this way. The scale factor is one, two, um, and then I have the angle right in between. So really quickly, ask yourself, can I use this theorem on these two triangles um, where I have this side equals 3, this one equals um, 21, and this one equals 7, and this one is 49, huh, not to scale. Um, and then I have a congruent angle right here. Can I use SAS on this one? Hopefully your answer is no because this angle is not in between the two sides. It has to be right here in order for it to work. So again, if I were to change this problem um, so that instead of putting the congruent angle where I put it, instead I put it in between the seven and the three and in between the 49 and the 21, then it would work. I have a scale factor going from here to here on both of the sides of one to seven. Um, and then those two angles being congruent. That is when I can use side, angle, side. Big idea being angle has to be in between the two sides.